Well, good evening. Grab a drink and sit down. We're going to play a game of Pikeman's Lament. This is a rule set that is akin to the Rampant rules, like Dragon Rampant, Lion Rampant. So if you're familiar with those, you'll be generally familiar with this. There are a few idiosyncrasies in here, a few extra special rules, but generally it's a pretty easy set of rules, very thematic and very flavorful and very quick playing. This is the battlefield we'll be fighting over. There's a small river running through it, and the objective is to capture the ford, cross the river, um, and so that means the game's last turn will be triggered when either all of one side's remaining units are over the river, or there are only five units left on the table. Here is the army for the bastardly baron. You can see, let's zoom in. We have a unit of shot, a second unit of shot, two regimental guns, a unit of pike with the bastardly baron behind, and we have a unit of trotters. Over here we have the Bastardly Baron, and his traits are that he is a natural leader, <clears throat> so he can re-roll one failed move, attack, or shoot activation per turn. And also, he is a fencing master, which means if there is a duel, he will score hits on a four up instead of a five up. Over here we have the army of the Dashing Duke. On the far left, we have some commanded shot. Then we have two units of trotters, and the duke very bravely is at the back of that second unit. Then we have two units of pike, and between them is a commanded shot, and on the very far flank is a full-size unit of shot. This is a figure of Prince Rupert and his dog, um, but this will be the devilish dashing duke, and he has rolled characteristics, which mean he is uh, a ladies' man, so he gets uh, some more honor as part of a campaign, which we're not really doing at the moment. Um, but also he has the ability um, Brave, which means units within six inches uh, in my game, or 12 inches in, in the normal meter measurements, will get plus two to morale instead of plus one. Right, with that preamble out of the way, let's roll for the first activation. It's going to be green, which is this side over here, because they have the green horses. I think the first few turns, there's probably gonna be lots of moving up, which will just be rolling activations and then failing or succeeding and moving them. So I'm gonna whiz you through until we start attacking and shooting um, and things interesting start happening. The only major non-movement event was the Baron on the right, challenging the Duke to a duel, but being a fencing master, he was most likely to succeed, so the Duke declined, but managed to avoid any morale repercussions. We will rejoin the action as the Baron's Trotters attempt to caracol. The unit we're looking at over here is unit of Trotters. <clears throat> Having caracoled this unit as and fired at it, it now has the option to attack. The unit it's attacking is Commander Trot, which has the option to evade. So I'm gonna try and evade with them on a seven up, and it succeeds, which means they move back half their move, and then they can fire their, um, their normal firing at, but at minus one to hit. So they are normally at fives, then they're gonna be at sixes. So that's one hit, two, three hits, that causes another casualty on the attacking trotters. I think they have to take a morale test and they succeed. The trotters are going to get six dice, uh, so 12 dice needing fives. So you get one, two, three, four, five. So that's an extra five casualties over there. And then in return, the defense for the commander's shot is a six. So none and one. So they do no, nothing in, in return. So the commanded shot now have to retreat and they now have to take a morale test and their morale is going to be five up, minus nine, plus two. So the only way they can succeed is double six. 
which they don't get. So that commander's shot unit is gone. Next order of business is to have so these musketeers fire at, I think they're gonna fire at the shot over here. So they're gonna need, they're gonna need sevens to shoot, which they fail. Okay, the Duke will have these guys moving. Succeeds. So they will get six dice needing fives. So it's one, two, and in return, uh, they have a stamina of three, so that's no casualties. And in return, the yellow unit will have uh, 12 dice needing fours. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So they take two casualties. They obviously have to retreat. And they're gonna have to take a morale test at minus two plus one, because the captain minus one. And their morale is four, so they need fights. So the Duke will have this unit of trotters, Caracol, this unit of trotters, on a eight, a seven, because he's within them. So they're gonna move, they're gonna fire. So they need fives. One. Doesn't do anything. They're gonna attempt to attack. So they get, they need fives. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So they do two extra casualties. And in return, the defense of the trotters is fours. So they need fours. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So they take two casualties each. The attackers retreat. Um, and they both take morale tests. So this morale test is at four, minus four. So they are going to need an eight or above. They succeed. This one will be even Stevens because he is brave and therefore gives plus two morale to anyone near him. So it's fours, and they fine as well. Right, I have this unit move across. We'll have this unit of Pike advance. We'll have this unit of commanded shot fire at that unit of muskets, needing eights. They fail. Right, it's the Duke's turn. The Duke will have the muskets fire at the Pike. Fails. The Duke will have these caracal at those. Double one, something terrible happens. Five, they waver. This unit of muskets will fire at these Pike, needing a seven. They do it. So, because it's their first shot of the game, they get plus one to hit, so they will be hitting on fours. One, two, three, four, five, six. So they do two casualties to this unit, and it needs to take a morale test needing six or above, which it takes. We'll have this unit of muskets fire at the same unit of pikes, needing sevens, which fails. We're going to order, we're going to try and rally these first. So they have a morale of six. So we need to get six or above, which we do. We're going to have this unit fire at the muskets over there. So they need sevens, they fail. Okay, this unit, these muskets are firing at these pike needing sevens, succeed. Okay, this time they need fives. One, two, three, so that's one more casualty. So they'll take a morale test at seven or above, which they succeed. We'll have these muskets firing at this unit of pike. Needing sevens. Double one, something terrible happens. Four is, the unit makes a full move towards the enemy. Now it's the Duke's turn. These trotters fire into those pike, needing a seven she gets. So fives, one, two, three, four, five, six. So another two casualties. So they're on three total. So they will need to take a morale test. So their morale will be at four plus two, six, which they pass. We will have these trotters caracal those trotters. So they will move half their movement. They will fire needing fives and sixes, uh, two, three, four, five. 
So one more, one more damage there. You have to take a morale test at um, minus four, uh, which they just get. So now there will be an attack. The attackers will need fives. One, two, three. That's it. So that's another casualty. And then the defense is on fours. So one, two, three, four. Six didn't roll. Five, six. So the attackers lost, but both sides have to take a morale test. This one will be taking it at minus four. Um, plus two, so minus two, needing six or above. They fail, and so they are wavered. And this unit over here will be taking it at minus six, so they need, uh, well, no, they're taking it at minus five, so they'll need nines or tens. And they are also wavered. We'll have this unit of muskets attempt to move forward, needing fives. They succeed, and we will have this unit attempt to caracal this unit on the sevens. So they succeed, so they need fives to hit. One, two, three. So that's a point of damage there. So there'll be a morale test there, needing on minus three, so needing seven or above, and they succeed and they will come in for an attack. The attackers will be needing fives. That's two, three, four. So they cause one casualty, and the defense is on fours. So they cause one, two, three, four, five, six. So they cause two casualties in return. So the attackers have lost. I've been checking for lucky blows, so let's do that here. Double one and uh, the Duke is down. Nope, double one and the Baron is down. Nope, okay. This unit will have to take a morale test at flat numbers because the, we have the plus two brave leader over here. And they succeed. And this will have to take it at minus four. So that will be eight. So a seven means this unit is wavering. So let's just turn it around. So we, uh, there we go. That unit is wavering. Right, we will have the this unit of Pike uh, try and attack that one, needing sixes, which they do. Six attack dice, or say 12 attack dice, needing fives. One, two, three, four, five. So they cause one casualty and then return because they're wavering, they only hit on sixes. So they get one six, that's not enough to cause any damage here. So these have to retreat away that way and then they will have to check, check for morale again at minus five. So that means nines are above. We, we failed the morale test, but we didn't, we didn't route completely. But what that does mean is we have to retreat again and take another casualty. So that's the, that casualty is just run away. We'll have these muskets firing at that set over there. They were doing six, so it's fine. So needing sevens, succeeds. It's their first firing of the game, so they're hitting on fours. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that unit takes four casualties and has to take a morale test at minus four, so it needs eight or above. It fails, so it's retreating and wavering. Right, this unit of Pike is gonna move forward, which it does, and I think that's all of the units on the Duke's side activated, so we're gonna hand it over to the Baron. He's gonna to attempt to rally that wavering unit over there, needing an eight or above, which succeeds and his own unit, which will need a 10 or above, minus six um, on a result of a five is below zero, which means the officer and the unit is routed completely. 
and then we need to take morale tests for all other units in the army. Now this unit is going to need uh, tens, and it doesn't, so it, and that modifier of minus six onto five means that unit is removed as well. So with the battle as it stands, I think we've, we've kind of come to a bit of a conclusion here. Um, I played a few more turns off camera just to see how the end result would look. And this is what we ended up with. After the collapse of the Baron's left flank and the destruction of his retinue, there was really nothing to stop the Duke from crossing the river and claiming victory. And here's a final parting shot of all of the English Civil War figures I've got. 